So normally when I make a binder update, I go through my collection of cards to be able to find some hidden cards or some cards that may have went up in price to put inside my binder. Hopefully we can get a good steal. And then that's when it hit me, ladies and gentlemen. Why not just record me going through a portion of my collection? A small portion of my collection to show you guys some interesting cards that we could be finding in here as Amber is going to finally point to the portion we are going to be looking at a little um we're not going to go through the top half we're going to kind of go through some of it can we fit all of this in 10 minutes no anyways we will definitely be going through this hopefully finding some cards that are really interesting so let's Dive on in! I, I gotta stop saying that. American Dad is getting to me. So like, it just hit me after like, the intro and everything. How, how am I gonna show you guys these cards? Like, this isn't Blue's Clues, Bird. I'm talking to you. You know what? That's a very good question, because that's a lot of cards to show us. This is gonna be a problem. I just hope you find something good. Okay guys, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick some stuff out of here and then move it to where we play live duels at. I think that's the only thing that kind of makes sense. You'll sacrificing such a glorious face that needs a haircut, but in return, you'll be able to see these great cards. Dive one in. Okay guys, so normally when I go through my stuff to find good cards, I normally start off with these three pink binders because they were... <laughs> Excuse me, they were formerly known as the cards that should go up in price binder. And I have to tell you guys, I have a pretty good success rate with selling what cards are going to come up with price. So obviously, Rescue Ferrets aren't. Uh, Ghost Overs did go up. Our Central Arch Fiends did. Man, these were actually five or six a pop before they were reprinted again. And I actually have ultimate rares. No, no. We got to find something. This is actually really, really good. How much are side frame gear gammas? Okay, so super rare gammas are about $3 each right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave them in this binder just because I want them to go a little bit higher. I want them to mature a little longer. Galaxy Soldiers aren't currently meta. Man, I really thought that this card was going to be something, but unfortunately it got reprinted. Karazas. I mean, look, just finding the correct cards is going to be somewhat interesting but as you guys can see we have quite the bit of cards in here that are just waiting for the right opportunity to be really expensive how much are chimera tech mega fleets mega fleets currently sit at about eight dollars i actually do remember when i uh, picked these guys up they were for a dollar or two and i would tell the people to pick these guys up because they only came in the legendary uh the legendary whatever decks uh legendary hero decks um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually hold on to those too because I only have six copies left. But Saravis is a Saravis is a ten dollar card right now. I think I can go ahead and pick up three Saravis. We'll just go ahead and use those to make the binder a little bit more prettier. So these are from the Invasion Vengeance set. And the reason why Saravis is just so good right now is because you can discard it from your hand uh, when your opponent uses a targeting effect on your monster, and you can negate the activation and destroy it. Now, granted, I think Saravis could go up a little higher, but it doesn't really hurt to put these particular cards in my binder. So, just a couple of other cards that I really was hoping that would, uh, you know, go up soon, and I still believe some will go up soon, but that's it for the first binder. The second binder, I mean, in these pink binders, I always expect to find something that is worth value. So I'm not really surprised to find anything in here. Uh, looks like we have a Spellbook uh, Core. Uh, looks like we have, whoa, that's actually pretty cool. We have some more great cards, hero cards, more empty pages, Cosmo cards, Dino card. Oh, well, double evolution pills are relatively expensive, but again, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these in here too because nobody really plays, or people play Dino, but Dino isn't hype right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that as a future investment. And then the third pink binder, we're gonna get Forbidden Lances. I know that uh, Stun Deck did use Forbidden Lances, and I remember picking these guys up. I've had them for years, hoping that they would go back up in price. Uh, Forbidden Lances, super rare from the Storm of Ragnarok set, are still relatively cheap. So we'll just keep on pushing. Spellbook of Secrets, I'm pretty sure it's still. 
What the deuce? How many ends up? Well, you guys remember when I did that video, bro? You remember when I did the hundred dollars and Damien? I cried. Thinking about it, we need to put as many spell counters on cards as possible. And I actually know a card that was reprinted in the Battles of Legends. It is Into the Void, which was really popular um, with the YCS London going around. And uh, let's go ahead and pick up three Ds. It should be cheap for an ultra rare. The ultra rares are eight dollars. Into the voids, we got three, four, five. I actually do remember this set. We got a case of Battles of Legends uh, Light's Revenge, and it, it was so many Into the Voids in here, and now look at us. We ballin', ladies and gentlemen. You remember? What? Shut off Fusion. What about Shut off Fusion? No, we were trying to build the deck. Oh, you know what? You're right. I... <laughs> See, I guess it does pay to look through your stuff to find some things. But we have, man, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve into the void. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out to the side. Should all futures or cards I think are gonna go up soon enough. So Nobleman of Extermination, Magic Planners, uh, Hidden Armory, Book of Eclipses. No, no, no. Just, oh man, I remember I really wanted these cards to go up. Uh, they only had one print at the time when I was picking them up. And then, you know, the Legendary Heroes kind of ruined that. But the Dark Illusion versions are still a good 5 to $6. Uh, moving past that, mistakes. I mean, it's a mistake not to have these. Man, this is just, this takes you... Are those Artifact Sanctums? Boy, we even got one, two, three, Four, I, I must have left some for me because this looks like an incomplete page and I know I had way more sanctums than this. So, boy, your boy Cali Effect and hooked the Cali Effect up and left himself some sanctums. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven artifact sanctums. I told you this pink binder always comes in with the Tiger Woods handshake type clutch thing going on. Debunk, the band goes on, dimensional bear. Not really much else. I don't think we'll be in this binder. I really want these to go back up. But not really much else I think will be in that binder. Let's go ahead and flap that to the side. And then these little binders normally don't have anything or they have a little bit of something. Yeah, I don't I don't think this one has anything else in it. Uh moving to the next binder. Hidden armory. Okay, okay. Okay, nothing nothing really in here. Maybe some just some older stuff. This is actually back. When, oh, this actually is worth a lot right now. The uh, El Shadol Anoyatilis. I think it's worth a lot. El Shadol Anoyatilis is 19 bucks right now. What? I just found 19 bucks in this. Is Ultra Rare Inferno Tierra's worth anything? I don't know. Do you think? Nah. Inferno Tierra Ultra. Five bucks is, I mean, that, that's a lot just to be sitting there. $3. Wow, these are $8. Ultra Rare Infernoid Tierras are eight. Didn't I just pass one up or something? They're eight dollars. That is crazy. You never know the stuff that'll be hiding in your binders and such and be worth a lot. Ultra Rare Tierras are eight freaking dollars. So we've already found, I mean, hey, hey, if I ever if I ever need some stuff, you know, need some trade, I'll just go through my binders and find a lot of stuff in that binder. I could have swore I saw another Infernoid Tierra. No, I guess not. Maybe I'm just seeing Infernoid Tierras. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Oh, I wish I could see Infernoid Tierras. This Cyber Dragon is actually an MF. It's a prismatic, not a prismatic, but I wonder, is this worth anything? So MF02, I'm not 100% familiar with. Oh, I thought it was $25 for a second. That was like, boy, what is going on? This card actually is only worth about maybe $5 max. It's from the Mattel action figure promo series, which is crazy is because the Bubble Mans are the Mattel action promo series and they're worth like a lot, like 21 Savage, a lot. <laughs> so moving on, uh, we got some pretty interesting cards in here. Let's hope we can find some more great things as we've already found a guapa things between that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the soul drains there. I don't think they're worth a lot, anything right now. They're not hype. So I know Infernoids are a little bit on the hype train. So that's it for that binder. I don't think there's anything in this Torquoise binder. No, there isn't. Moving on to this binder, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I remember this binder. 
This is when we had that, those cases of maximum crisis. And so we just put all the super rares in the, wow. thinking that we can move them. So yeah, I just have like a ton of maximum crisis super rares. Hey guys, hey guys, buy this card before it's got like it's in price, even though it's getting reprinted. I didn't know, I apologize. So moving on past that. Man, we're trying to find some good stuff in here. Let's get some more goo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, moving into here, we are going to get Oliver, Brotherhood of the Firefest. Bro, the OG Platinum Rares, G. <laughs> Platinum Rares look disgusting to me. Terrible. I, I do not like the way they look. So moving on, we get some Firefest stuff. Not really anything great in these binders so far. I have a full art shaman. I don't I don't think that's uh I don't think that's noteworthy. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for that one. Next binder, we are going to get Nephthibus the Atlantean Prince. I actually think that that card will be good. Oh, look what I found. More super polymerizations. You love you hate super polymerization, don't you? Yes, I do. Why you hate super polymerization so much? You don't you don't like losing your board to one card? I don't. Then don't make the board. Forehead. You don't have the card. Forehead. Yeah, you got a point right there. Uh, so nothing in this binder. Moving on to the next, we gotta have some big money in these binders. What is going on? This is actually really nice. This is Magi Magi Girl from the Jump promo, if I'm correct. I was really hoping that we would get Magi Magi Girl as a uh, one of the Lost Art cards, but unfortunately we didn't. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there because I normally don't get rid of Japanese cards and stuff like that. I normally keep them. Uh, nothing really of note here. What the do are those ultimate rare inferno tiaras? What is going on here, bro? Why do I have this ultimate? I need one of these. Like I only have two. <laughs> like one for me, one for you. We know that the ultra ultra rares are eights. I don't even want to know what the ultimate rares are. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them to the side. Wanna you want to know? Okay, so we know ultra rare inferno tiaras are eight ninety nine, about nine dollars, right? For ultra rare. For ultra rares. Ultimate rares, unlimited near mints are 12 to 13. These are first ads. So first ad, lightly plays are 15. These look pretty mint. Yeah, these look relatively mint. I mean, I'd probably give them a little bit more inspection. Near mint first ads are $20. That is freaking crazy that near mint first ads are $20. I wonder how much Chimera Tech Fortress Dragons are. I know they've been printed quite a few times, Chimera. This is freaking crazy. I should probably just do all this more often. Than that. I don't normally find stuff like this like all the time, but finding those Infernoid Tierras are just too strong. Okay, that was really corny. That was corny. That was hella corny. You're corny. Well, how you know I was gonna say it? How you know I was gonna say it? I was just preparing for it. Corny. <laughs> Moving on. No, they're not worth anything. An ultimate rare red eyes flare metal dragon. Like, what is that going for right now? So what did you just do with this box? You just put a whole bunch of stuff and do it aside? No, well, you, you remember back when I used to vend, right? Yeah. I used to buy people's collections all the time. Oh, so yeah. like, you know, now that I don't vend anymore, they just kind of like sit there and their binders already took out all the cards that, you know, were worth anything at the time. But think about it. I used to vend a couple years ago. So now that I've stopped vending and I have all of these cards, they just like accumulate over time. Single rare red eyes, flare metal dragons are sixes. Ultra rares are two dollars. So red eyes, flare metal. Uh, I gotta find out the ultimate rares. One thing I don't like about TCG, what the deuce? Ghost rares are 35s. Ultimate rares are 12. So that's the, we'll go ahead and put that in here. Moving on to the next page. Can we find anything else? Nope. Nothing in here. Oh, wow. So that's that's kind of good. I'm going to go ahead and pull out this Infernoid Decatron. I know that's going to be worth something. Uh, this is actually a little binder that I made for a friend to take the regionals and get some trades. So, you know, I do that from time to time with my boys. They normally just sit there and like waddle around. So I'm like, here's a binder. Go do something with your life. Go, go, go plus. See if you can plus. They normally nag, so it is what it is. Boy. So in this binder, we're not gonna get anything. 
But freak, man, we've already pulled the entire lot. Like seriously, we've we've I want to say we pulled at least a hundred dollars worth of cards. Like, like no more than a hundred. Like two hundred dollars worth of cards. I pulled twelve into the voids. They're eight each. <laughs> Yeah, and I, pull, I, I don't know how much Artifact Sanctums are right now, but yeah, I've, I've oh wow, another Inferno Tierra. Today must be my lucky day. Man, actually we did get a case of core. The Luster Pendulum set, we got a case of that. So this is almost expected. Just so many great cards, but this probably was from somebody, you know, somebody that I bought from or something like that. But yeah, I know we got a case of some of these cards and it's plan starting to work out. Uh, buying cases is our thing. Moving into the next binder, I don't think I'm going to be able to do all these, all the whole entire collection. Yeah. I think I'm just going to go through the binders and we might be able to just do another video. Let me guys, let me know if we should continue this series. Go ahead and like that like button and destroy that subscribe button. And also post down below in the comment section if we should continue. So going into the next one, I think it was a little ambitious to like say that. This used to be one of my trade binders. I like to switch from binder to binder. Ooh. Yeah, this used to be one of my trade binders. I like to switch from binder to binder. So, yeah, we, we're not, I don't think we're gonna find anything of utility. This is actually kind of expensive in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave that because nobody wants it right now. Uh, Destiny Hero Disc Commanders, I know nobody don't want those. Uh, stuff that nobody wants. At least I don't think anyone wants. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're not gonna find compulsory. How much are compulses now? Well, they're five dollars each, and I were telling people to buy them at a dollar each, and I just so happen to have five of them. So, you remember that one song? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty. We're only gonna get twenty-five. <laughs> hey, anybody else that knows Schoolhouse Rock, they know what I'm talking about. So that is the compulses and rivalry warlords and that. This has deck skeleton binder, so I'm more inclined to think that this is like a personal binder. This is a personal binder, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out. And yes, guys, I actually do have like, yeah, I know, right? You didn't know that I had cards like for me and then I had cards for like, just to have. Like, yeah, I, I actually do, so that's how it is. This is back when I used to like price cards and sell them. Uh, yeah, that's a whole bunch of comments. I remember making money off these good comments. Comments uh, are the best variety. I, I really wish they could see. <laughs> I really wish they could see. I have. You got failed as a teacher. I, I, apparently, I have. If you think commons is the best rarity, I don't speak broke. Next binder. Let's open it up. Uh, looks like some really good oldies. Uh, I see Destiny Draw from the OG set. set. That's pretty good. Um, you keep telling me like to move. I don't know where to move, homie. Oh wow, this is an FL1 Dark Magician. I don't think I'd get rid of this. It's pretty mint too. And it's an FL1 Blue Eyes White Dragon. How much are those going for? I don't feel like looking them up. <laughs> you guys will probably tell me, oh, you got it, they're not worth anything. But yeah, this is actually just a path down memory lane. A whole bunch of good old, like, not necessarily good, but old cards. You remember we used to use those binders? What binders? The binder you have. This binder? I never used this binder. Yeah, I don't remember using this binder. Yeah. Why would I use this binder? What am I, a pleb? Yeah, before you got all the monsters. Yikes. Don't be trying to out me. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't look like we'll get anything out of here. Oh, vanity's ruler. These are like, these are like 10 bucks. <laughs> so we did get something out of there. And nothing in here. You want all those binders up there too? No, I'm just gonna look through all these. We we concluded after this. <laughs> going into this one, Magic Specter <laughs> Raccoon has been pretty popular in Pendulums. And it is a card that I told people to buy in price. I just have like an ultimate rare abyss lend just sitting there. Like, come on now, how much are lends? Ultimate rare abyss lends are about five dollars. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave her there. Uh, I don't think people were really like, hey man, you got an ultimate rare abyss lend? Just like, you know. No, nah, I don't. Actually, Buster Dragons went up, didn't they? I know Buster Blader got new support, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in Buster Dragon. Buster Dragons are 15s for unlimited near mints. We're gonna go ahead and pull a Buster Dragon out. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna go ahead and pull 
a Buster Dragon out. I, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the other Inferno cards aren't worth anything. Go ahead and look up the Inferno cards as I go through this. Just type in Inferno in the search engine. And yeah, I think we are we are done. Finished, finito. With this binder. On to the next. All right. Uh, man, I, I really hope these cards were something. This card will eventually be something. But yep, yep, yep. Uh, Lava Golems, I don't think are anything. Hey, remind me, I need to buy uh, Lava Golems, highest rarity before it's too late. You gotta remind me after this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy them. So the Inferno cards, yeah, Decatron's the only one worth something, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, ultimate rare Anukus are eights, but everything else is not worth anything. All right, so I was good to pass it up. I know Feather Duster's worth something, but it's not off the Forbidden List. That's what I'm gonna wait for. If it ever does come off the Forbidden List, I have quite a few Feather Dusters. And that is it for that one. And calculate how much we found in these binders. This is actually a goat binder. So like everything in here is just goat cards. Uh, I tried to get uh, my locals like really into goats and it worked before, you know, me not going to locals and goats. <laughs> so yeah, next binder we are gonna open up. This is actually one of my homeboys before he quit, he uh, sold me his cards, uh, Jesse. This is Jesse's. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm pretty well-versed what's in this. No, I'm not well-versed. I don't know who I'm lying to. I'm trying to sound, you know, a lot. No, I'm not. And Jesse was actually a, uh, he was a really good investor. As you can see, there's lots of holes in this binder for that specific reason. There were quite a few cards that he did have in this binder that, um, you know, have uh, paid the way. So yeah, for me getting some new cards. That's, that one's done. So we got two more binders left. Can we get one more insane card before we do the count up? We got Charizard. We have a OG Japanese Charizard in here. I, I don't think it's worth anything. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. Cockadoodle Doos, Miss Valley Apex Avions, um, Gam Seal. I'm pretty sure this Gear Freed is worth a lot. So we'll pull out that Gear Freed, Fossil Dino, I'll leave it there. Jim Armadillos. Mind control. So yeah, we have, can you look up Gear Free for me? Gear Free the Red Eyes Iron Knight. All right, our last binder guys. This is where the big money is. Jinzo, all right, no, this is a goat binder. Yeah, so it's just all goat cards guys. And then I guess Pendulum Storms in the middle of it. I, I got a case of Bosch too? Man, I was kind of crazy. Well, that is it for the binder lookup. I need a calculator really quick so I can actually like add all this stuff up.